Hello. Welcome to our October family service here at St Chad's. It doesn't seem possible that we're now in autumn, though we were reminded of that fact when many of us attended a very different harvest festival service on the playing fields last Sunday. Although it was very different, no flowers, no fruit, no sheaves of corn, no baskets of gifts from the children, no church building. It was lovely to see all those people that we have missed meeting for the last six months. This gathering is, after all, the church. In the wonderful autumnal sunshine, it seemed as vibrant and as alive as ever. Having given thanks for the fruits of the field, today we consider the fruits of the Spirit. Let's now listen as the choir sing for the beauty of the earth. Those of you listening to the service at home, please sing as loudly as you can to make up for those in church who must listen in silence. Let us now join in with a confession. Forgive us, Lord. We have not always done what we ought or could have done. We have not always said what is true or what is kind, but have been unhelpful or hurtful. We have not always thought of others before ourselves. Too often, we have been selfish. We have not thought of you, Lord, and what you have done for us. Forgive us, Lord. Amen. Now, we're going to listen to a story of Jesus of a very different harvest time. Let us listen to Jesus' parable about a vineyard. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. 
When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another and stoned another. Again he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them the same way. Finally he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to the tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard the parable, they realised that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. We will now hear the hymn, Christ is our cornerstone. told that St. Chad's Church has only one cornerstone. Perhaps when we're allowed again to wander around we can all try to find it. I've never found it in the past. I've always claimed that Christ is our cornerstone. At the end of the parable Jesus said the kingdom of God will be given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. What are the fruits of the kingdom of heaven? 
The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience and kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Let us listen to the hymn, Come Thou Holy Spirit, Come. Let us pray. Lord, help me to remember that you love me at all times, however little I deserve it. Holy Spirit, help me to love. Lord, in this world, where at this time, when there seems to be much scope for misery, help me to spread a little joy, some of your light in a dark place. Holy Spirit, help me to reflect your joy. Holy Spirit, give me strength to withstand the tests and trials of this time without becoming stressed. Holy Spirit, give me patience. Holy Spirit, at this time when so many people are in need in so many ways, remind me to be kind. Holy Spirit, let me show kindness. Let, let the power, power of, of your, your goodness, goodness and, and gentleness, gentleness Help, help those who, who are, are in, in trouble, trouble. Where, where many, many are losing their faith and positivity bring them your strength holy spirit give me your faithfulness holy spirit bring us your peace amen as our savior taught us let us pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name 
your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now, let us listen to the hymn, Come Ye Thankful People, Come, which, like the parable of the vineyard, reminds us of what happens to those who do not receive the grace of the Holy Spirit. Thank you to all those who have helped with this service, without which it certainly wouldn't have taken place. To the readers, to Mary with Heston and Morgan, to Millie and Daisy, and to Jill, to Maureen, and especially to Mike Richards, who's been very patient with somebody like me who doesn't know what they're doing. Let us pray. Lord of the harvest, as you have given us the fruits of the earth in abundance, we ask that, by the strength of the Holy Spirit, we might, in ourselves, produce good results. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Go in joy and in safety. Thank you.